Hi Water Signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those of you cross-watching, welcome to your Tower Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see whether you're in a twin flame or a soulmate type of a connection, okay? So the person that you're romantically involved with, is this a soulmate or a twin flame energy, and what is it that you have to know about them or perhaps about the future of this connection? This is going to be a general reading, guys, so please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will be listing my email address just below the video here where the show more section is. Otherwise, let's go ahead, give the cards a shuffle, and let's begin. To me, this feels like your romantic energy and your romantic connection here has the, um, it just has the energy of this being a twin flame, okay? There's uh, an energy that's very dual here. You've got the duality with the moon here. You've also got the lovers uh, tarot cards and you've got Adam and Eve here who sort of mirror each other, don't they? Now, it's not easy finding your twin flame. Um, finding your twin flame probably can be compared to that of winning the lotto. Okay, so, you know, imagine the odds of that happening here. But for a lot of you, I feel like you are on a twin flame journey here. A lot of you, for the first time here in your life, you might feel as though you're truly being seen, felt, or heard, or you're truly being understood here um, by your energy here. It's like when you're with them, it's like, you know, you're talking to yourself. There's this sense of transparency here. It also feels like the two of you have known each other here. Um, maybe from like a previous lifetime here. It's just this instant like homey kind of feeling that you get when you're with this person. Bottom of the deck, you have the Nine of Cups. I do feel like this is someone that you've, you know, the both of you have manifested each other. I can see that you're also learning a lot about yourself from them and I feel like this romantic energy has entered your life and it's almost like for a lot of you I feel like they're it's like they're holding up a mirror and they're reflecting back to you um, some of the insecurities fears and anxieties that they possess but also that you possess so you know some shadow or some dark or shadow aspects of yourself and your energy that perhaps you need to shine a light on or you need to bring to the light, bring to the surface so that you can heal those energies, you can heal those wounds, heal those insecurities and work on yourself. So essentially I do feel like something about this connection feels uh, like very, about this particular energy feels very um, healing as well. Everything is intense, right? Their touch, their energy, their presence, um, when the two of you t are together here, it almost feels like it, it's so strong that it's so addictive here. Um, but as you keep spending more and more time with each other, you you um, realize that it's not all rainbows and butterflies and sunshine here, okay? It's, yes, the good times are great and they're, they're fun, they're exhilarating, but then there's a lot of bad times and those are the times that drive you crazy. Those are the times that you stay up late at night wondering, you know, whether or not uh, to keep pursuing this connection here. And sometimes it is so intense that you and your twin flame are scared, okay? You're scared 
of these emotions that you feel and these energies that you feel because ultimately you're scared that it may destroy you here. Some of you, you know, sometimes you find that you could also be romanticizing here, okay? Romanticizing your twin flame and this somewhat toxic, toxic, sorry, or unhealthy connection. Now, I'm also seeing that for a lot of you, you are in this runner chaser stage phase of your twin flame connection, okay? And that's because these intentions that you're feeling is just so strong here. Okay, and um, those emotions here can become very overwhelming. So when it gets like that, this is when you or your twin flame here tend to pull away. Okay, because... This is unfamiliar emotions or unfamiliar territory. And I feel like I'm seeing so a, a very strong emotional intensity. So much so that it feels like the both of you are addicted to one another. Okay, um, Twin flames don't always have to be about love. I feel like it's more about growth and helping you achieve a transformative outcome. And this is why I feel like without the conflict and without that drama, you wouldn't be able to transform yourself. This is why you need them, okay? You need them to teach you these lessons, even if they are painful and hurtful here. Because I feel like without, you know, that conflict that you have going on, neither of you would be able to transform. And that's the whole purpose here of this twin flame here. So that you both can, you know, go through this intense friction here and you can come out to be these precious stones during this transformative process. Um, your soulmate can't do this for you, okay? A soulmate type of love, a soul partner is not able to do this transforming for you, is not able to have this effect. So, you know, I understand that a lot of you have your worries and you have your concerns about this um, connection. Um, I feel like you should pay attention to your mental, um, like especially your mental health here because you don't want things to get too intense so much so that they potentially could ruin your relationship. If you can try and make things a little bit tumultuous for the both of you here, okay, remember to put yourself up, uh, to put yourself first, always put yourself first, you know, prioritize your happiness here, um, and just become more of who you're meant to be, you know, allow yourself to connect with your higher self, okay, don't put so much emphasis, because I feel like maybe some of you are putting a lot of emphasis on trying to impress your twin flame instead of working on yourself because remember they're here for your part of the journey they're here to help you transform to help you grow here and they're showing you okay in a very conflict in a very tense in a very full-on and overwhelming type of way they're showing you what it is you, that you need to work on remember those shadow um shadow aspects those dark aspects of yourself your energy or of the overall connection so that you can you know transform yourself and transform your energy uh, work on yourself and make sure none of this becomes too toxic or too heavy for you to carry as well okay just remember like the air airplane rule goes always put your um, oxygen mask on first before you help anyone else okay so it's not selfish it's called self-love all right guys and these are your messages thank you as always for watching and listening appreciate your support by liking sharing subscribing Thanks for your time. Bye for now.